The Vice President, Mr. John Mahama, has reiterated the need for continuous and effective collaboration between the church and the state. This, he believes, is one sure way of meeting the country's national development to its fullest. Citing examples in education and health, Mr. Mahama said both institutions have similar ideologies that conform to societal needs, so their, so their coexistence cannot be downplayed. The Vice President said this at the 17th Annual Regional Council meeting of the Assemblies of God Church at Kumbungu in the Northern Region. The Vice President first made a stop at the Kumbuna Palace at Kumbungu where he paid homage to the chiefs and the elders of the community as tradition demands and informed them of his mission to the community. The Vice President, led by the Northern Regional Minister Moses Magbengba, proceeded to the grounds of the Northern Ghana Bible College, the first Pentecostal Bible school in the country. His mission was to participate in the 17th Annual Regional Meeting of the Assemblies of God Church, of which he is a member. He was welcomed with a well-composed national anthem sung by the pupils of the Early Childhood Development Center of the Church. The annual meeting is a period where members deliberate on outstanding issues and strategize well for the future development of the church. The Assemblies of God is one of the largest Christian gatherings of the world with 65 million congregants with Africa holding 19 million. Leaders of the church were grateful to governments for instituting the annual prayer, fasting and thanksgiving day. This, they believe, may have contributed to the peaceful coexistence the country is enjoying. The General Superintendent of the Church, Right Reverend Dr. Paul Frimpomanso said, the Assemblies of God Church emerged from the North and the Church as part of its developmental agenda will adapt the North and make it one of the best regions. Greater part of the Northern region, our main profession is agriculture. And you know the intermittent rainfall. So sometimes we are discouraged. But we have big rivers across the region. If government through the center will develop irrigations and also provide us with mechanisms and implements, men and women here are not lazy. They will work. And Ghana can depend upon the people of the northern region and the two other regions to provide food. And we will not import a grain. Of Vice President John Mahama was grateful to the church for agreeing to partner government in carrying out infrastructural development in areas that are difficult to reach. Government and the church are not in competition. If the church has already planted a school or a clinic in a community, government will not in competition with the church come and plant another hospital in the community just to compete with the church. We won't do that. What we can do is we can help with infrastructure to upgrade the missionary hospital, but not put up a new hospital in the same district. And that is how government operates. On development in the area, the vice president said the government has released 30 million Ghana cities for operational activities of SADA, and another 100 million Ghana cities is almost ready to beef up the investment budget of SADA and other equally important projects in the north. We are working with the... Dutch government to do what we call the Sicily Coupon Irrigation Scheme, and that is supposed to be in the overseas area. It's going to bring 15,000 hectares of land under irrigation. And um, currently, the feasibility study is being drawn. It's a SADA project, and so SADA is the one superintending it with assistance from the Dutch government. When that is done, that overseas area basket alone, with the irrigation facilities that are there, will not only be able to feed the whole of Ghana, but will be able to export food to our landlocked neighbors in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. The Vice President was also honored by the Church for dedicated service to both Church and society. We want to present this Daniel Excellence Award of Leadership to you. Thank you. 
The Assemblies of God Church has announced that it will soon establish a public university to promote quality but affordable education for all. The Vice President also made a brief stop at Nyangpala where he inspected works on the Avnash rice farm. The rice mill will be ready in six months and is expected to boost rice production and storage in the region and create jobs.